This is our 2005 Prius. Uh, you can see here we're going to be removing the wires for the oxygen sensor. We're going to pull up on this trim piece right here and then put that aside out of the way. Up front there's another trim piece here. Go like that. These brackets are going to be left behind here. Here is up here one of the carpeting, so just fold this stuff down. And then down here, you'll find the oxygen sensor wire and the plug for it. And there's the grommeted hole. So this is the replacement catalytic converter. I'm going to have to remove this bung here. That's where the O2 sensor goes, or lambda sensor. If we look inside here, we can even see the ceramic honeycomb structure of the catalytic converter in there. Here we can see the old exhaust flange bolts. They have a tiered thread on them. Notice the springs on the new one are too long. Now, people online have suggested putting them in a vise to compress them. I'm just going to reuse the old ones. This is the flange that the thief cut. We're not going to use that because the new oxygen or the new catalytic converter has a flange built in. We're just going to reuse the old one here. We can also see that the profile on the gasket here and the profile on the old one are quite different, though the welding uh, hole on this is a little different than the end effect on that one. So uh, we're going to probably use the new one. As you can see over there, I used the hydraulic floor jack, and these are the jack stands holding the vehicle up. This is the ring light we're going to use. It's powered by this lithium battery that has a flashlight built in, but we're actually going to be using the big ring light like this. The old oxygen sensor wires are sliced underneath. We're just going to pull it through from the top by grabbing this like that, and then just pulling like this. You can see I taped them off together. Here we've got the new oxygen sensor, and we're going to leave the cap on it to protect it. We're just going to feed it through this hole like that. And we're going to do that until that rubber boot falls down like that, and then we're just going to press fit the rubber boot into place, and we'll send the wires down like that. And then over here, we're going to be plugging in oh, excuse me, this connector here. So this, um, this connector has a little knob that press fits into the frame right here. So make sure you push that back. This can only go in one way into that. And make sure you do that because there's a heater wire and an O2 sensor wire and it can only plug in one way. Okay, so we're just gonna slip this gasket onto the end of that pipe right there. Like that. Special thanks to Pro Exhaust in Auburn, Washington. They did a beautiful job welding this in. Turns out I needed an exhaust shop to help me. For a hundred bucks, they did the weld and mount. Excellent. I couldn't use the U-clamp because of the way it was cut. Perfect. Now it works.